Good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is for you. I'm your hostess, Madam Hellfire, and we're back, back, back again to finish up Act 1 of the Mandela Catalog. We're going to watch two videos today, uh, Volume 333, and then Every Day Gets Brighter, which is the very end of Act um, Act one of the Mandela catalog. I think there's at least three more acts after that that we'll go over at some point. Um, I may or may not do something a little easier in between, um, but in two weeks we'll have Knox on again to talk about the Lizzie Borden case. That's going to be fun. So keep an eye out for that. Anyways, let's say hello to everybody that's here in the chat. We've got Octane Junkie, Devil Pup, Spectre, Pigeon Salad, and Mateus Schroeder. Yeah, buddy. It's gonna be good, good stuff. Is it Act 2? Because I have... Okay, yeah, maybe you're right. Um, I might be thinking of original copies, but... There are two acts, and we're almost done with Act 1. So that's going to be a good time. Um, thank you guys for being as supportive as you have been of the FNAF Thoughts video. It's a little bit shorter. It's not me doing play-by-play -play stuff. So I'm kind of glad that it, it's doing as well as it is. But we're going to watch Volume 333, like I said, and try to get through Act 1. So that we can get to Act 2. But, like I said, I'm probably going to do something easier next weekend. Uh, then do the stream with Nox. And then come back to Act 2. Just so that we keep things a little bit fresh. With that in mind. With that in mind. Why don't we go ahead and get into the fun that is Volume 3. Let me make sure that y'all can hear it just fine. Turn that down some. Should be good to go. I already like the fact that this goes like into black and white. It, it's very analog horror-esque. Um, it's very reminiscent of the analog horror uh, series that are so vividly loved by a lot of people. Um, so I'm curious to see how this video turns out. I, and I agree, I've heard um, that this is where things start to pick up and get really interesting, but we'll have to find out for ourselves, won't we? Baby is not happy. So what I'm going to guess from what we saw previously is that this is where everything starts to get interesting. Um, this is where, I think it was Adam, was picked up by, uh, by the uh, imposters, the bad, bad peoples involved in this. So we'll we'll see. The intruder, yeah. I think this is what we are seeing here. This is the mother that is now no longer with us because uh yeah. I would I would probably lose my mind too if my kid was taken from me out of nowhere. Hey. Octane with the 99.99 Trick or Treat, well, mostly treat, Happy Festival of Sam Hain to our illustrious Madam Hellfire. Thank you so much for your generous donation, Octane Junkie. I really, really appreciate it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, it is. He's very generous. He's very supportive of the channel, and I am extremely appreciative of it. Uh, I think. It's being a bit weird with Streamlabs, so I'm going to go and bring it up so we can, you know, go through the, the thingies for that. Recent. It's still not popping up in it, but I will play the alert for it because I can. 
Uh, um, variations. Do, 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 do. There it is. That's that's what'll come up. Ah, it's been a while since I've played this. Thank you, thank you, thank you again, my good friend. I very much appreciate it. Anyways, let's get back to this since we've got like 26 minutes of content in this one video alone. Hey, what's up? You started crying again. At the same time, I don't know what to do. I'm sorry, I, I, I just don't know how to help you anymore. Are you absolutely sure it's not the... No. No, I, I keep telling you, it's not. I've had it unplugged for weeks now. Divorce agreement. So this is the mother, I'm assuming. Um, they're getting a divorce in 1990, which is, uh, I don't know, 1992. Date of the party, divorce of the party is 1992. Yikes. That's never good. It's probably why the baby's upset. It's because, uh, y yeah. There's, the house is not okay. Everything is weird. Everything is wrong. It doesn't feel safe. Of course it's gonna cry. What do you mean? I mean, I guess I can come Also, up. irreconcilable differences is a very, very uh, common, I think it's the most common reason cited for um, divorces, which is not surprising. All right, help you figure it out. Are you free tomorrow night? Tomorrow night? You promise you'll actually come over this time? He's still your child, too, you know. I swear to God, Lynn, if this is just an imaginary friend or something, I'm gonna lose it. Wait, so this guy isn't coming to see his own kid? And you're shocked that the kid is upset? It's, it is used to having two parents around. Even if you're a baby, even if you're an infant, there is a level of awareness that they have. Babies can sense things. It's kind of like animals. They can sense when something is wrong, when something is amiss. And when something is amiss, they're going to react to it because they think they want to fix it. They want it to be fixed. They don't understand. And dude doesn't want to come see his kid? Bro. Bro. What do you mean? Do you realize how young he is? Sad. Fucking terrible dad. Don't be, be so be, be so overpopulated. There will be wars. All nuclear explosions and everything. So I just tend to today's chores and let the good Lord worry about tomorrow. And we all know in this this universe, TV is bad mm okay. Yeah, it, it, the baby shouldn't be watching this kind of a. Uh, is it the baby's eye? Because if it is, they should not be watching this kind of stuff. They shouldn't be watching the TV in general, right? TV bam, okay. Okay. But what about us? We'll always have Paris. Hey, that's one of my dad's favorite. Uh, calls. That's one of my dad's favorite actors, Humphrey Bogart. As well as television programs. Yeah, they should definitely not be watching this kind of stuff as a baby. And then we're going to see the face, right? 333. Three, three. Okay, so here's what... This is volume 333. Three, three. There's 333 three, three on the screen. There's got to be some significance to it. I'm not sure what. But, uh, cool. Cool beans. Oh, fun. We broke it, guys. I'm just kidding. It's actually still playing. Nothing but lightning, to say the least. Okay, so this is the Bandela County Police Department. And it looks like it's a, uh, a town hall of some sort. And they're commemorating the... I learned the... a lot about myself. And 
I hope my colleagues in this room have learned just as much about me as well. Promotion of... I will never stand down for my base values. Sergeant... How far up the ladder I go. Well, I may not be the most... Um, Ruth Weaver. A spoken type. I protect somebody else. my city with pride. And, and Lieutenant... I'm I think... to be rewarded as such. Lieutenant... Thank you all. Thatcher is... Lieutenant Thatcher is a very important character. Or Thatcher Davis is a very important character in this series. So remember that name. Lieutenant Thatcher Davis, if I remember correctly, is extremely important to this. So we'll we'll see where this goes. I'm I'm assuming this is where it starts giving call. us some backstory. No one is available to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. Good evening, officer. Uh, one of our students, Mark Heathcliff, uh, he's been absent for the past couple days without any reason, no phone calls from parents, no doctor's excuse, and we, we don't have any apparent emergency contacts on file for him. That's, uh, that's not a good thing whatsoever. Um, that sounds like a kid just went missing and you have no way of figuring out if the kid's okay or not. That is terrifying. That's a terrifying thought with kids. For sure. If you could have someone pay a visit to, um, uh, three... Okay, they're at least good enough to, to censor out the, uh, the, na the, uh, address for the welfare check, but I'm assuming it's gonna be that house. Error number 333, uh, throughout the series equipment that keeps get getting corrupted by alternate interface. Okay, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. But yeah, I, I, if you're a teacher, my, I would be very, very happy if a teacher was this concerned about a student to call a welfare check for them. That's a good thing. Because there are a lot of cases, especially some that I've covered on the channel when I did a lot of true crime content. Um, and I hope to get back to at some point. Some teachers notice that there's something wrong with children and they don't say anything. That is the most horrendous thing you can do and, and some of those kids they don't survive it's not a good <sighs> covering some of that stuff was the hardest uh, cases that i've ever talked about it was hard it was disgusting but you know sometimes it needs to be done but like i was like i was saying it's important as a teacher that if you notice something is up call a welfare check have it get looked into. That's that's highly important as a teacher because you see those kids almost every day. You'll notice that something is up. New and make sure everything's all right. It would be much appreciated. Oh, and if someone could try to get the contact info for whoever answers the door, that would be much appreciated. Uh, thank you. Have a nice night. Oh, that's, that's not ominous at all. That's a uh, red mist around uh, the, the house where all the uh, bad things have happened. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that means that something bad is going on. It's not a good sign. It's kind of like the Amityville house. You know bad things are going to happen because of the aura around it. Yep, Mark's house. Not good. I think that red spot, I think that red mist was the uh, alternate getting into his house. Sheriff's Department, open up. Yeah. Police, open the door. He did. He did, bro. He gone. He ain't got all of them shit. Heathcliff v. Altercation Evidence Reel, Case 00432. Ooh, this is not gonna be good, y'all. This is, this is gonna be very, very bad. It's gonna be very, very bad, okay? Mm okay. Uh-oh. Yep. Yep. That's a gun right there. That's a gun, and that is a dead body. 
Ooh. That's never easy. I know for a fact that's never easy for cops. It, it doesn't matter how long you've been on, on the beat. No matter how long you've been in, at, been a cop, that that stuff never gets easy. Seeing a body never gets easy. I know I have family members that are cops and are retired cops. This stuff sits with you forever. Oh. Oh God. Jesus Christ. Mark Heathcliff, 17, July 24th, 1974, to September 21st, 1992. At least they are blocking out what happened. That's definitely not how he was laying, but, uh, okay. Okay, bro. Hey, what's up, Mike? It's definitely not safe. Lots of batteries. Oh, no. Or, or are they? Yeah, look at batteries. I can't tell. Can't tell what that is. It's not a good sight, though. Don't touch anything, bro. And the VCR. Gun cartridges. Oh, okay. It looked like either batteries or gun cartridges. I couldn't be sure. Hold on. You should know as a cop, never touch anything on a crime scene. Especially, especially with bare hands. Don't touch that shit. This is like the worst kind of CSI forensics analyst etiquette. Bad. Bad, 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 bad. You never touch anything. You always call it in. You never touch anything at a crime scene. You let the professionals come in. Cops can be trained to be professionals like this, but the problem with a lot of cases and why a lot of cases get thrown out is because things are tampered with, whether by accident or on purpose, and they're contaminated. Do not do that. Do not do that. You need to have somebody come in with gloves and all the stuff appropriate in order to take care of the scene properly so that everything is in order and they can verify if it is a murder or a suicide. Because when you come in a, a situation like that, it might look like a suicide, but it might not be. Somebody could have possibly set that up. And you wouldn't know if you tampered with stuff. You want to have as little people going in there as possible, and you do not want to touch anything. Period. Bad. Bad lieutenant. You should know better. Uh, the Holy Bible of Reassurances. This is gonna be bad, okay? Don't mess with the nominees, okay? Yeah, it's already bad. Don't touch any of this stuff, bro. God bless all, or blesses all. Stop touching stuff, bro. You do realize you just got promoted. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you, woman. Thank you for yelling at him for being absolutely stupid. And doing the number one thing you do not do as a cop when you find a murder scene or a crime scene. You do not touch anything. Not with bare hands, at least. Because you want to take pictures of everything as it was. You want it as close to as it was and documented as it was before you start moving things and taking them out of a crime scene. Holy crap. Ugh. Right? You don't have to work on this bullshit. I'm gonna rage, bro. Listen, I got a lead. Okay? Got some evidence to review still. That's it. I'll believe it when I see it. See you later. Alright. Lock the door on the way out. I'm shaking my head right now. Uh oh. So I'm assuming we're gonna see what the alternate looks like. Or no, fingerprints. Never mind. Prints present, present, item 12, doorknob. Okay, so they had attempted to. Watching Mandela vlog shaking my head so people know I disagree. <laughs> yep. So they did some documenting, but they still screwed things up. 
Why you got a black eye, bro? Mark. So wait, hold on. They don't say who that belongs to. Prince present on the handgun. Okay, so... I have, yeah, that's Alex. I uh, got a cassette player collected from for investigation. Okay. So they documented these, but they still did this wrong. Item 13, notebook collected for investigation. Yeah, you still screwed this up, bro. I'm shaking my head. Camcorder collected for investigation. And you got fingerprints all, marked fingerprints all over it, but you probably also have lieutenants on it because he touched the shit with his bare hands like an idiot. Points of interest. Okay. Huh. Tape found in camcorder. Shadow under the door. Interesting. These are really terrible pictures, by the way. They're bad. Okay, so this is the video taken September 14th, 1992. So this is the this is more than likely him watching the imposter or the intruder or knocking on his door trying to get him to let them in. Which is the worst thing you could do. Yeah, it's insistent on coming in. It's gonna keep doing that until you do it, but uh, yeah, don't. <laughs> cassette, so we're probably going to hear what the cassette says. Voices outside my room. So he was recording the voices as well. He needs to open the door. Oh, I hate that. I hate that. It's so distorted. Like, what I love about how Alex does this is that it seems somewhat human, but you can tell that it definitely isn't. You can tell that it's something that's trying to mimic humanity in the human language and somebody specific that is human it is so uncanny valley it's so eerie no i am not going away mm, the glitching it's a lot a lot of over attempting because i can't always do it perfectly some of them can perfectly imitate a person completely recreate them as they are and some just cannot and this is one that just cannot completely <laughs> Ugh, i hate it <laughs> and you can hear learning <laughs> about the time. You can hear it learning. It's trying to be better and better and better at imitating voices. It is learning and adjusting like an AI. Scary as hell. Let's Now it's a bunch of people. That's not just one. It's, it was one person, and then it was another voice, and now it's a bunch of voices. <sighs> I would go insane, too. I would lose my way, too. I'm not gonna lie. I can lie to you. Item three, here's the notebook collection for investigation. So what the reassurance is, God bless us all book. All right. God loves me unconditionally. Always remember that no matter the circumstances, God loves all of us simply because he's chosen to do so. He loves me when no one else loves me. I am at peace. Mm. Mm. Does he? In this case, does he? Are you actually talking to God? Or are you talking to the false god? Today is the day I need God's love more than anything. I am alone and need to feel the warmth of his love and reassurance. 
So Mark was losing his mind and desperately trying to cling to his religion and his faith in order to get through the agony of dealing with these voices, and it's not working. My lord, I am afraid. I beg for your love and protection against evil. The evil's already found you, my dude. It's already found you. And you're already we already know you're going, so unfortunately. Not good. I have no choice anymore. The cops never came for me. Nobody came for me. Whoever is reading this, please stop it before it does this to anyone else. Who have I been um praying to all this time? Who have I been praying to all this time? Who have I been all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. A written form of him losing his mind. And then he goes from it being pretty clear to unclear to just over and over and over and over and over and over until it's not even, there's no page left. Wow. Seeing a man completely break down right before he gives up. My eyes are wide open. Oh, that is so creepy. That is just shivers, tingles down my spine, bro. Having him go from that, from clear like this, to slightly less clear, frantic almost, to absolutely nutter butters, to clear again. And it's just, my eyes are wide open. Yep, he's gone. He is gone. Alternate report says our Torres. It's another one. Avoid con interaction. Call nine one one. Yep, it's another one that I know for sure is gone. Warning under twenty four hour surveillance. Oof. I like that. It's how things are put together is very different. It's not all the same kind of composition when it comes to like the different images used and whatnot. Murray v. Alter altercation, evidence real, zero, zero, or case zero, zero, three, three, four. Hmm. Got another evidence real. Things are gonna get spicy. Viewing intended for Mr. Davis, Mandela Tech Daily. Anything Mandela related, mm. Mm. We know it's bad. We know it's bad. Ooh. All right, Mr. Davis. I understand that you Company were representative. that I would be able to that 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 looks not good. That looks that looks mm. to recover the contents mm. of all of the tapes that you sent in, along with your request note. I was only able to recover maybe about two minutes from one of them. I'll be copying my Tech recording of it episode. onto this one right after this. I, I mean, I hope this helps you with the rest of your investigation. If you need any more help, you can call me back or just send me another letter. And yeah, I'll it's, be waiting it's, a, it's a pretty sketchy, sussy, wussy. Uh, <laughs> it's a very sussy, wussy picture. Fonts. Ah, uh, the might of the subconscious. I'm not sure that's how you actually spell subconscious. Can you hear me? Yes, and I don't like it. I don't like that I can hear you. Your voice is creepy. I don't like it. This is a little creepy in my car alone. Yes. Yes, it is, Devil Pup. It's extremely creepy. Oh. I don't, oh, I don't like that. Hello. Now, you may be thinking, who is this voice? What is this Sesame Street Muppet bullshit? What the fuck, bro? What is this? What are these? Speaking to me through my television set. Well, let me introduce. Five from Knox Archive, have some monies for the wine fund. Yes. Indeed. Must 
replenish the vodka fund. Ha ha. And the wine fund. Alcohol fund. Yes, yes. Thank you, Nox. I appreciate it. Myself. My name. Yes. Nice. It's very nice to meet you. Okay, let's go back a little bit. My name is Stanley. Uh, it hi, Stanley. Nice to meet you. I'm not sure if it's nice to meet you. Uh, I'm a little bit unsettled. I'm a lot bit unsettled. Um. Hmm. It's only gonna get worse, Knox. Consider me a friend, because no. I might consider you one too. Please don't. I like having friends. Well, I'm not one of yours, so please stop. How many friends do you have? Definitely not you. That's great. Would Is it? I love the fact that I say definitely not you and you say that's great. Would you like to know a secret of mine? No, I do not want to know a secret. I can make but I'm sure you're going to tell me anyways. Friends appear out of thin air. Uh... I don't like that secret. I wish I didn't know that. What was that? You want to know how? No, that that is absolutely not what I said. That I, I, that's absolutely not what I said. Uh, but but I'm sure you're gonna make it happen anyways. Well, I can tell you, but you have to promise me that I am one of your friends first. No. Madre de Dios, no, no. It nominate Patri in Filitu Sancti. Nomine Patri Spiritu Sancti. Nomine Patri Spiritu Sancti. No. No, bro. The Father, Son, and the Holy Motherfucking Spirit. The power of Christ compels you. Go away. Great. Yeah, great. Uh-huh. First, we must consider what makes up a good friend. Not you, because I'm pretty sure you're going to get me killed. What do they sound like? Not really. This is, this is, I'm just reacting to a video on YouTube. I'm, I'm just, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. What do they look like? What color eyes do they have? Well, I mean, one of my favorite, my best friends is uh, a, a fox. And I guess he's got brown eyes. He's very fluffy. He's in my chat right now. I guess, I guess, I guess that's what one of them looks like. Always remember the most important rule. If there is a new friend that lives in your head, it is best to, it is best to, it is best. I'm pretty sure I do not want, I do not want, this is good content to roll Tatami mats, the Tommy mats too. Very cathartic, probably, but uh, I'm not enjoying it. Well, I am and I'm not. It's creepy. It's creepy peepee. -pee. It's sussy wussy baka. Also, I don't want I don't want other voices in my head. I don't need that. They're just as scared as you are. Fucking are they? Are you sure about that? Okay. Have a friend in mind? Great. Okay. Great. I think it's time to meet your new friend. Now just close your eyes and think No. Really hard about your new friend. No. Can you keep an even bigger secret? I don't wanna. I think it worked. Uh the voices in my head are awesome. I'm never lonely. Knox? I think you need to go talk to somebody professional. You, you, you shouldn't have voices in your head, my homeboy. My home skillet biscuit. Uh-oh. Your uh -oh. new friend is somewhere in your house. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Now it's up to you to go and find them. I'm not playing hide and seek because we're gonna get edited out from the Mr. Beast video and then I'm gonna make a pointless, pointless crybaby fit on Twitter. This thing was a this thing was appearing on the TV, getting little children to create tulpas. Yep, yep.
The Sesame Street Jim Henson looking motherfucker. I don't like it. Thatcher Davis to Jude Murray. Thatcher is a very important character in this series. Remember him. Remember him. 911. What's the emergency? Please. You gotta help me. There's someone in my house. I don't know what to do. I don't even know what they got inside. I cut my doors and wait those locks for mine. I just... It's not how you get anybody to calm down. You you try to reassure them, bro. Like, uh... Just calm down, okay? We'll get this figured out. Just need to stay quiet. Are you hiding? Yes. Does this person have a weapon? I don't know. I can't tell. Is this person threatening? You should be saying, where are you? What is your address? Are you okay? We're sending somebody to find you. These are not the questions you ask before sending out help. You get help sent out first. Then you start asking questions and add things to the report so that they, the people you sent to help know what's going on. You always, 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 always get that information first. And this is coming from somebody who has experience and training in the field of first being a, a responder at 911 from 911 dispatch and has the education with a criminal justice degree. We're taught these things because the longer you're on the phone waiting to get help sent out to them, the longer it's going to be for somebody to get to them. And by the time somebody gets to them, they could be dead. I mean, you or your family. No, he just stares in the corner. He's not dead. He's dead. He's just standing there. I'm, I think my wife is hurt. I don't know what to do. It's going to be fine. You seem to calm down. I want to look at his face again. Okay. All right. Um, does this man resemble anyone you know by chance? No. What? I have never seen anyone in my life that looks anything like- He's- it's an alternate dude. Dude, come on now. You should have already gotten his information and sent somebody to help. I can't- I can't be right, that isn't- I forget. I forgot. This is a completely different timeline and a completely different universe, and everybody's dumb. Make any sense. <laughs> I'm sending over one of our officers. Just don't hang up, okay? And this is Ruth. This is the person who also got promoted. If I remember correctly, this is going to go very, very, very badly. Thatcher knows it's an alternate, but they can't send people. You could still act like you're going to. You still do things the proper way and make them think that somebody's coming. There's still a proper procedure to do things, even if you're not going to actually send somebody. Just saying. I just got a 10-15. I'm heading over to the place now. Damn it. Okay. Um... What? Did you get a similar call? I uh, believe we got a home intruder. I apologize for the silence, sir. What's your address? You should have got that beforehand, dum dum. Sir. Thatcher, we're gonna need some backup here. We already know it's gonna go wrong. Do 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 do. It's gonna go wrong. Do do. What are you talking about? Where's the others? The officer that was already checking out the place just pussied out. Are you shocked? Jesus. I'm not. Hey, um... Bruce, what's the address? By the time you get there, boy, things gonna be bad. Those are the pictures from in earlier videos. It's gonna say hello. It's gonna play peekaboo with you. It's gonna say hi, peekaboo. I see you. I will drive you insane too. Nothing of interest came out of the automated camera setup 
will need to resort to an in-home inspection with Weaver as soon as possible. Lieutenant Thatcher Davis, investigation log number two. It's not going to go good. It's going to go badly. toys does anybody else think that something bad's gonna happen does anybody else have that creepy sense of a uh, dread and impending doom because I do And that just made it worse. Bad things are coming. And it's not mama. Don't look at the TV. Don't look at the TV. You looked at the TV. You fucked up. You looked at the TV. You made a mistake. Mis uh oh. We here at Horror and Hellfire Productions do not condone or endorse harming one's self. If you feel like you need to do that, please get some help first. Please. Thank you. Yeah. Don't do that. Do not do that. Skipping that. Weaver. That was the body of the mom, by the way. This is the kid's bedroom. This is Adam's bedroom. His mama just hurt herself. She is no longer with us. Hello? No. Bueno. Identify yourself. Identify yourself. Hold on. Back it up. Back that up. Back that ass up. Hold on. Hello? Identify yourself. Identify yourself. You've just interacted with an alternate. You're in trouble now, boy. You're in deep trouble now, boy, because it is mimicking you perfectly. Perfectly. You in trouble, dude. You in trouble, my dude. We're almost done with this, this video, y'all. investigation. I need you to identify yourself. And he just imitated the radio. I would lose my mind. I would go nuts if somebody was sitting that stuff back to me. I wouldn't oh. like it. I wouldn't like it at all. Bib 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 bad. Bad, bad, bad. All bad. What do you want? Your soul. Oh, you fuck now, boy. You are done now, boy. Ooh, you're done now, boy. This ain't good. This ain't good. Yikes. Oh, it's run. It ran up to him. Uh oh. It is like right in his face, bro. Oh my god, this is not good. Be ready for the jump scare, y'all. Be ready for the jump scare. It's coming. Uh, 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 <laughs> I don't like this, guys. Um, this is not good. That, that is not, that, that is all bad. That is all bad. Ruth, if you 
you're still in there, I'm gonna find help, okay? Just meet me at the... And he abandoned her. He abandoned her. Station. This will haunt you for the rest of your life, Lieutenant. We're going back to the station, and things are just gonna get worse. They always get worse. Always. This is the front of the police station, I'm pretty sure. We've seen this before. This was uh, what we saw when uh, the two officers were talking back and forth about uh, the case for Mark. 1078, requesting backup. 1078, requesting backup. Ten eighteen, requesting assistance from available Bythorn units. They're not gonna respond because they're all gone. They all fucking died. Plus, we already know it's imitated you. So how do we even know that it's you that's talking on the radio? We don't. This is an unauthorized use of Earth's normal. Identify yourself. Exactly. Lieutenant Thatcher Davis, MCPD. It's not. It's not. It's not him. 1018, requesting assistance from available worksheet units. They know it's not him. They know it's not him. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's, mmm. That shivers, shivers scary. Don't like, don't like. Me so no like, he he. Mmm. So fucking creepy, bro. They're literally playing Amazing Grace over the radio. Remember, this all ties back to religious undertones. The alternates and their creator, the false prophet, are using religious undertones to take, to deceive and take over this, per this version of our realm. Indeed. Indeed, Pigeon. Ave Satanus. And it's gonna get worse. Just saying, it's gonna get worse. Wait for the jump scare. I get to see this for the first time myself. Like, firsthand. Not just clips of it. Oh. Oh. La Cretura. The Kukui! Ah, oh, it's gonna get us! Yeah, it's gonna speak in her voice. It is Thatcher's body cam. It is not friend. That is absolutely not a fucking friend, Mike. It's not friend shaped. It is not a friend. It is not a friend. <laughs> Try to relax your anus. Stop, bro, shoot! Ha <laughs> I'm in danger. Uh oh, bad decision, Thatcher. The fact that it's fucking with you through audio stuff, through like, I love, I love, I love. 
when analog horror series do this, where they have the big bad taunting you through text in the videos and audio. I love that shit. I eat it up. It's like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. hi, Squatch. Not friend. Not friend. Absolutely not friend. It's trying to smile at it. That's Ruth's face. It's impersonating Ruth's face. I hate it. I hate it so fucking much. I hate it so much. And now it's distorting. It's distorting her face. There's not enough room for the two of us, Lieutenant. And you said this was friend-shaped. That is not friend-shaped. Yep. Alternates are mere photoshopped images to actual 3D models that can move around. Any moat shows how the series has progressed. Indeed, it gets a thousand times creepier because of that change by Alex. Oof. Woof. We're almost done with the first video, and we'll go into the next one. Oh, I hate this. I hate this so much. Like, you can see it trying to imitate human, like, m facial movements and expressions. It is, mm-mm. No, 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 no. Definitely didn't look friendly. That's not friendly, bro. That's 100% not friendly. Mm-mm. 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 No. And we're back at the front. Every day gets brighter. Are you, are you sure about that? Are you sure? Are you 100% positive? And then through the eyes of the child. It's Alex's eyes. Not Alex. Adam's eyes. And that's... I don't think there's anything else in here. Oh, there is. There is. There is. There is. There is. There is. Hold on. Skipping. Skipping to the part that matters. Thank you so much for your patience and support. And then we're going to see something interesting at the end here. Always wait to check the end to see if anything else happens. Always. All right, what do you got for us, Alex, at the end here? Madre de Dios. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. False prophet. Alrighty. This is the last video. Every day gets brighter. It's only two and a half minutes long, but we're gonna finish this up. with. Once we're finished with this video, we're done with Act 1, and we'll take the rest of the day to ourselves. So let's get right to it. We're back in front of the police department for Mandela County. Let's see where we're at after all that uh, fun. Thoughts about the ordeal. I haven't stopped till they've taken everything. Everything I loved. Everything I care. This is the lieutenant, by the way. This is Lieutenant Thatcher Davis. This is his thoughts after what happened. He is not dead, though you would think after that sort of uh, altercation he might be. He's not. What about us, God? I'm scared. I would be too. But I can't show it. I can't show any fucking weakness, because if I act human, if I act like this is... Employee of the month. Remember, he'd just gotten a promotion. It's fucking bothering me. They're going to lose hope. Everyone's going to blame me for this. Everyone doesn't know what to do. Look how fucked up he looks. No one knows what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm sorry. I can't be the man everyone wants me to be. I'm tired. 
Once again, we at Hellfire Produ Horror Hellfire Productions do not endorse self-harm of any kind. If you feel like you need to do so, please get help. Thank you. I feel like I haven't slept in so long. And nobody knows what we're doing. These are the pictures from Mark's crime scene, no, if I'm not mistaken. People. You know, they blame us for not finding them, but we don't know where the fuck they went. <laughs> They don't realize that we're in the same fucking boat as they are. TVs are everywhere. That TVs thing are took everywhere. something from me. TVs are everywhere. I feel different. Well, I'll bet you do. The imposter. Or one of the imposters. Yeah. Seeing a perfect copy of you just walk away. Back out into the world. Yep, taking over everything. No one's answering. No one's telling me what's going on. They won't, because they don't trust you. I'm gonna kill this thing if it's the last thing I fucking do. I'm alive. But part of me doesn't want to be. I mean, you bitched out and you left your partner. And that, ladies and germs, is the end of Act 1 for the Mandela Catalog. It only gets more creepy and intense from here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little trip down the first act of this series. Um, I'm excited to see where it goes next, but until then... I will have to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend and rest of your day. And sweet nightmares. Bite me one time. Bite me twice. Oh, ah. Mm, that's rather nice. Frankenstein. Love.